Have you ever wondered what makes the textured plate different from the smooth one? Is one simply better or does it depend on the print? Today, I'm checking out the smooth plate for the very first time and I'm bringing you along with me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeremy and I'm diving headfirst into the world of 3D printing. I'm documenting my journey and I'm showing you all the things that I learned along the way. All right, let's jump right in. This textured plate that comes with my Bamboo Lab printer has been my go-to since I bought the printer. But I've been curious on how the smooth plate stacks up. So now I'm gonna be trying it live for the first time on camera. So I bought this directly from the Bamboo Lab website and I actually got the dual sided, which is textured on one side and smooth on the other. We can see that it actually has a film on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. And now I'm gonna try not to touch the surface, but if I just fill this edge, I can feel that it's really smooth compared to the bumpy surface of my texture plate. So I did a little bit of research on the texture plate versus the smooth plate, and kind of here's what I've come up with. When you print, you get a textured pattern on your print. So hopefully that's coming across, but you get that texture on the side that's facing or touching the plate versus on the smooth one that would leave a smooth pattern on the back side of that print or the side that's touching the plate. So that's kind of the obvious difference. The other difference is the texture plate is a little more grippy than the smooth plate. So when you're printing your models, they stick to the plate a little easier. And then when the plate cools down, they self-release and they'll just slide right off. And actually Bamboo recommends you let the plate cool off before removing your models because it could damage the plate if you peel them off while the plate is still hot. The smooth plate is a little less adhesive but it's better for when you need Z-axis precision. So the best way to describe that is when you need very precise prints up and down. So this is your Z-axis going up and down. And so let's say you needed something that was exactly 10 millimeters high. This is gonna be better because it's gonna be completely flat after the bed leveling. Versus the texture plate, it could be off by a tiny bit. The other difference is sometimes you need glue for the smooth plate when you don't need it for the texture plate. And we'll get to that later in this video. Another quick note is Bamboo actually considers both the smooth and textured plate to be a consumable part, which means it degrades over time and will need to be replaced. I'm not sure what kind of lifespan you would get out of your plate, but I'm sure it greatly depends on what you're printing and how much of it. So now let's talk about should you use glue on your build plate? Well, there's actually a chart online that shows specifically which filaments to use glue for which plate. And I'm just gonna throw that up on the screen. But at least for me, right now at this stage in my printing, for PLA Basic, I don't need glue on either one of these plates. I definitely plan on trying out some other filament types in the future, hopefully soon. And at that point, I'll get to try out the glue stick. So that's another experiment coming up. But for now, I'm just sticking with PLA. But while I'm on the subject of the glue, What's the point of it? So I initially thought that you would put the glue on the plate so that the material would stick to the plate better. But according to the Bamboo Lab Wiki, it states that it makes removal easier. So I did a little bit of research on that. It seems that some materials will actually stick to the build plate too much and then damage the build plate when you remove them. So by putting the glue stick on there, you still get your adhesion so they'll stick to your plate, but they're not so stuck that you can't peel them off. So now, enough talk, let's try the plate out. So just like the textured plate, it magnetizes to the print bed, and we just need to line that up, and bam, it's on there. Now that I've got the smooth plate in the printer, we just need to find something to print. So I was thinking that I'll just print another one of these luggage tags so I'll have an identical piece to compare before and after. So here I am in Bamboo Studio, and I've got the luggage tag pulled up. And then on the left side, we have plate top. So I'm just gonna click the drop down and come down and choose smooth PEI plate. And then we're just gonna slice it and then click print and send to the printer. So in about 35 minutes, the luggage tag should be complete. And then I'll give it a little bit of time to cool and we'll compare the difference. While that's printing, if you feel like I'm providing value, 
hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. It would really help this brand new channel out. And we're back. So our luggage tag has finished printing and it's still on the smooth plate. The plate has cooled down. It's nice and cool, um, but it still hasn't released. So let's just uh, flex it just a little bit. And then, yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming loose. There we go. So yeah, it's, it's nice and smooth as opposed to the texture from the other one. If I lay that down there, maybe you can see the difference, but this is just really smooth. It is actually, it's smoother than the top of the luggage tag because the luggage tag actually has some ridges in it. Let's see if the other one has that. Yeah, it has the ridges as well. So the actual print, like the, the top of the print is not perfectly smooth and the back of it is very smooth. So. I can definitely see using this for certain projects. It worked out very well. So which plate do you think you'll use in your next project? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.